All right, guys, hello. Welcome back to our channel. Someone mentioned that I didn't say that in my previous video, so I will make it a point to say that in every video. But welcome back to our channel. Today's video is gonna be an everyday makeup routine. I am not a professional. I am not like some makeup expert guru. So I have my camera set up in front of my mirror. I'm gonna try to make this as professional looking as possible, but no promises. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. I've updated a few things in terms of my makeup. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also want to make this kind of fun, but I also have to kind of make it quick. I actually left my camera battery charger in Vegas, so I'm not going to be getting a battery charger until like tomorrow. I had to order one quickly on Amazon. Let me Google something so we can answer some fun questions together. Should we Google like funny questions? <laughs> All right. First things first, what I usually do is I will put on this product. It's like a Glossier eye plumping cream. It's also like a lip plumping, but I usually just put it on my eyes. So I've been doing this and it honestly just moisturizes so well underneath your eye i don't know it makes you look more awake and then what i've been going bleh, i've been using this milk makeup blur stick this gives the appearance of like the blur effect so i just kind of like prime my face with this it like reduces the look of like um pores and stuff and i honestly really liked it it's a really a good product so i just kind of Honestly, put that everywhere. There we go. That's the primer. And then I go on with the first step, which is a foundation. And I'm using the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. This stuff is really nice because it just blends and gives you that very dewy look, but also a very natural, full coverage. So just kind of put that everywhere. So the first question that I Googled, what sport would be the funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to? I've actually uh, watched a video with Kevin Hart. I think it's like on his YouTube channel where he like does drunk yoga. <laughs> yoga is supposed to be like a spiritual practice. When I first started getting into yoga, I <laughs> would get drunk with my friends and then I would just start showing them all these yoga moves because I thought it was like so cool. It was more of like a dance. <laughs> they have top golf. Like that's like a really boring sport, but they add alcohol and make it into more of like a game at top golf. If you guys have ever heard of that. What else? My brother actually works at an axe throwing place, which again incorporates alcohol. <laughs> Can you imagine like big sports like soccer or football with alcohol? I heard a lot of like soccer players are actually alcoholics. I don't know if they drink while they play or what. Next thing I do is I put on some concealer. So I use the NARS concealer. Oh, if you guys are interested, I never say like the colors because I feel like everyone's a different color. So like honestly just match your own. But if you guys are similar to my skin tone, my foundation is in the color, I think it's 3.5. Again, I'm really bad at this stuff. I don't know what's going on. The NARS concealer, um, again, it's very creamy, but also a very good coverage. So I've been using this for quite a while now and I really like it. I am in the color light vanilla, my flavor. So I kind of just go right here because I tend to get like a line right here where like my under eyes are so white and then my cheeks are a little bit more on the red, but you can see like where they separate. It's like kind of weird. So yeah, I do that and then blend it in. Let's see what the next question is. What movie would be greatly improved if it was made into a musical? Ugh, I hate musicals. Um, none. I don't know, these are kind of boring questions. <laughs> if your five-year-old self suddenly found themselves inhabiting your current body, what would the five-year-old self do first? Probably play with my hair. These are not fun. In 40 years, what will people be nostalgic of? Honestly, I talk about this quite a lot. I feel like the older generation, the older generations, I don't think they're gonna be driving. I think like they're gonna look at us like when we're like 80 and be like, whoa, you guys know how to drive? You guys used to drive? You know how to drive a car? And we're all gonna be like, yep, that's how they did it back in the day. We drove, physically drove. And they're gonna be like, and so shocked, like, whoa. It's like gonna be like driving an airplane. Flying an airplane? I don't know. All right, I'm kind of bored with these questions, so let's get back into the makeup. To set all of this, I've been using the Fenty Beauty Universal Invisimat. I always do this because I listen to a lot of ASMR. I'm like, yeah, Invisimat blotting powder. And this is just one color, and this just kind of gets rid of any, like, shiny, greasy areas. So I kind of just rub this along any greasy area. I'm listening to music, by the way. So I don't get copyrighted, but I can still have fun. I feel like getting ready is so boring without music. I'm listening to my flow state of mind playlist, which is like music that makes you feel like flowy and angelic, but also like really vibey and good. All right, next. I always brush my eyebrows before I do anything. 
I'm kind of doing something a little bit different. I'll show you guys. So I use the Sigma Brow Powder Duo in the color medium. There's two colors, and I kind of use the lighter of the two. When I picked it up, then I vanished away. I wish I could all listen to music together and not get copyrighted. Take this angle brush that has a hair on it, and then I kind of just line my eyebrow on the bottom i have really sparse eyebrows but they're blonde so the hair is there they're just you can't see them so i'll just kind of line the natural like i don't know what i'm saying um shape of the eyebrow and then kind of just color in between the lines and then for this front part i kind of just like brush like angled strokes in the direction that the hair is going and this is where it tends to get kind of hard i always make one look so different and i'm like Ugh. I can never get them perfect. Hopefully that looks okay. They don't look that bad. I mean, I'm saying that, but I, I haven't seen what it looks like in the light yet, so we shall see. This is the new thing that I've been doing. So this is the Sigma Tint and Tame Brow Gel. By the way, I'll link all the products down below if you guys miss out on something. And then this is just in the clear tint. I have like a hard time with the darker tints. And I'll kind of just go along the eyebrow because this kind of just keeps it in place kind of makes it look a little bit thicker than it is and I find that the hair stays longer with this on this one's nice too because it doesn't get like clumpy and thick like I've used these before where they honestly they make your eyebrows like there's hairspray on them but this one doesn't really make it like that it does make it like stick a little bit but not like too thick so that's my eyebrows the worst part i honestly get so nervous doing my eyebrows so now i'm gonna go in with the hula benefit bronzer this stuff i've been using for quite a while and then i just take like a sigma powder blush brush not made for bronzer but i use it anyway take it and go along my cheek to give me some tan and i'll go on my forehead and under my jaw so I get rid of any double chin or I try at least and then I'll kind of just like go along my nose and underneath it I don't know why I saw it in lots of other makeup videos and like I guess you're supposed to do that I don't even know what I'm doing and then I put a little bit on my lid yeah looks like I'm a little bit tanner than I originally was what's next um okay let's do some blush i've been using these like creamy blushes from iconic london it's called sheer blush i've been using the cheeky coral 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 and i really like this because it's a really pretty color anything cream gives you like a dewy look that i really like because it just blends in and looks so natural and i always blend it in with my ring finger i don't know why but this gives you a little bit of color that i go along the bridge of my nose looks like you've been in the sun for a little bit put any leftover on your eyes gives you like a little pinkish blushy color you guys know like my holy grail is the sigma brilliant shimmer cream this stuff is so nice it's like a highlighter blush pinkish color oh my god i just got so much under my nail and i kind of just rub that along where your highlighter is supposed to be and this stuff makes you look so Highlightery. What's the word for that? Glowy. And a little bit on my nose and upper lip. So, I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but I just love this stuff. And then I'll go in with the Fenty Beauty uh, highlighter, Kilowatt, the color Afternoon Snack, and Mo Honey. It should be Mo Money. And then I go in with a highlighter brush. What is this called? A fan brush. And I go in with both colors and put it on top of the creamy Sigma Brilliant cream because it kind of sticks to it and I, I don't know, the more highlighter the better I feel like. And then a little bit on the top of my nose and upper lip and then I put a little bit underneath my eyebrow. Eyeshadow. What I've been doing lately is using orange because my eyes are blue so when you put orange, I didn't realize how much your eyes pop with orange. The palette that I use is the Modern Renaissance palette and the color that I've been using is Rel Relger. Relger? And I just do a very little bit because I don't really like too much eyeshadow. So then I do a little bit too and I'll put it like underneath my eye. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of that brilliant shimmer cream on in the inner part of my eye lid to 
kind of give it some shimmer and then take your pinky and put a little bit on the inside of your eye. And then what I do is go in with some mascara. The mascara I've been using for years is the Better Than Sex Mascara. This stuff is amazing. It's super thick, makes your eyes so long. And the brush kind of goes in in the middle. I don't know what that means or what that does, but I like it. Oh no, my battery. Let me go get my other one and then we gotta hurry this up. So I finished up my mascara and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna try to wrap this up as fast as I can um, because I just don't have a charger. What else? I feel like I'm missing something. Let's do lips. So I've been using this Nube, Nubin Nude Lip Plumper. I don't really need lip plumper, oh, but I don't know. I just like the feeling it gives. And this is like super glossy and it stays on your lips. Like, you know how some lip glosses, you'll put it on and then you gotta like keep reapplying. This, you just leave on. Let's finish it off with some rose water spray that I actually never do. I'm just doing it because I'm filming a video. It feels really good. Like when I remember to do it, like I'm like, ah, oh. um, that was a Kapari. Coconut rose toner. And then you take your hair down and there you have it. That's kind of been my go-to everyday makeup. Uh, the only difference sometimes is that I'll play around with like the eyeshadow. It depends, obviously I'm not gonna wear like this bright of a color all the time. If anything, I'll just do like bronzer and then a little bit of the Brilliant Shimmer Cream. That is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like recreate this look, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair, I'm sorry. My hair is not having a good day right now, but that's okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you guys have any other questions about makeup or anything like that, pop them down below and I'll try to answer them. Love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in a future video. Bye guys.